Look at my high dollar packaging from this knife I bought from Russ at the Atlanta Blade Show 2023. S90V on this accelerator. Starts with an X. I was like, I'm looking this up. A-C-C-E-L. Hold on. How do you spell accelerator? Uh, that's because Snowdy, Mike Snowdy, it's his design. He spells it different. He starts with an X and gets right out there. So this is the X accelerator. Now, I had the one that was in my car, but when I got this baby, the dollar sign, S, Snowdy, um, I decided to hell with that. I got this, baby. And this rocks it. Titanium frag handle. It's a big knife. It's badass. And it's in S90V. Okay, it's the 1860. 1860. And there it comes. And is it going to cut my thumb off? No. No, no cut, no thumb. But you better get up to the collar. Get up right up here. Okay, when you release that puppy. Okay. You get back here, buh bye buh bye Head to the emergency room. Okay, Shh. or the Band-Aid closet or whatever. But nope, there you go. You're good there. Finger flick. It's easy. It's easy. And I got this because Russ goes, well, we only have 30 of them at the show, right? And I go, you going to do that? I don't know. We don't know for sure yet. Week after I get back from Atlanta, right? They're on the site. There they are. So, yes, you, my friend, can buy one, too, on the Artisan site. Because I was looking at my buddy at White Mountain, and they ain't in stock. But you could always go on Notify Me, put in your email, uh, Notify Me. Because if you get one, $199, then 10% off. So, it's instead of $200, it's a buck eighty, right? So, there you go. S90V Titanium Accelerator with an X. And it's crazy. It really is. And there's what it is. 8.86. Not quite 9 inches overall length. Not quite a 4 inch blade length, supposedly. We're going to take a little measurement and figure that out. But, okay. Next, next, next. I wanted to just run some stuff by you. Because here's the thing. Okay, this is the accelerator on Artisan site. Okay. Buck 99 as well. Okay. Do you, have you have you been keeping up with CJRB? And of course, we're clicking from Artisan to CJRB. But look at this. I'm waiting for this, and they're going. Do you want the one with the dumb studs or the slide the slit open? Oh, give me a slit. I don't want no dummies. Okay, I'm good with this. I think this is a much cleaner look. Okay, so I don't even think they got that one named yet. But it's gonna be a three. Nine inch flat grind play. Holy crap. That's going to be beautiful. A thing of beauty. A thing of beauty. And check this one out. Talk about a four inch blade, nine inches overall length. And this is called the Frack. Um, they did the Frick last year. So this is the. Nah, just kidding. They didn't do a Frick. Okay. Freaking Frack. Okay. But this is the Frack. Okay. And that's a picture of a guy messing with it. And. Some people are going, eh, it's just too big to carry, blah, blah, blah. Okay, send me one. Go ahead, send me one. I don't care. Too big to carry. Get out of here. Get out of here. Okay, now. Oh, God, am I going to cut this? Okay, thank you. Go right in. Go right in. Like, just like Snowdy. He's, he's kind of a badass, isn't he? You see him, he's always packing a pistol and... He looks, he looks like he's ready to go all the time, but he's a, he's all business. And this one, this is some badassery, isn't it? <sighs> the accelerator. Yeah. And you can get this if you can still find it in stock, you know, in my cart and stuff for like 89 bucks, something like that. So, I mean, you could do that. Okay. Liner lock, that kind of thing. So it's not a frame and it doesn't have all this horrible frag titanium pattern it's just it's, it's just disgusting isn't it? it's horrible it's so horrible i had to have it immediately when i saw it i go what the hell and if sabibi's gonna come out with the frack it's gonna be basically the same size maybe even a little bit bigger than this mama that's headed in the right direction as far as i'm concerned so yeah 
This is nice. And boy, does it drop right on your thumb. Okay, now, 0.47. This is not that thick. It's really not. That's kind of crazy, isn't it? A little deceiving because you think, oh, that's got to be a big old handful. It's not that, that thick. But the blade steel, yeah, is approaching four millimeter. Okay, so there's some stuff there. 0.15, okay. Easy to kick open, though. Easy to kick open. Got a little bit of a cutaway in here. So if you're going to strop it or you're going to, you know, put the stones to it, okay. And the swedge here. So this tip is not that fragile or thin and definitely the blade stock is not thin and fragile that's for sure and it's stone washed so it's all the burrs and everything are knocked off nicely there's your lockup check that out man that's that's 40 percent isn't it um one thing for sure i like the way they kind of rounded these areas they really did a nice job of just rounding these corners you see how they're not squared off they're nice and broken here in this and this feels good on the inside here i can't remember what was the knife not long ago and i just thought that's just i just was disappointed at how kind of unfinished it felt but this no this is nice and there's your backspacer and i can't remember is that brass or is that, um, yeah, it, I don't think it's anodized titanium. I think it is something, and I'll check that out. I'll, I'll put it down here because you know what? I saw that, and then I forgot. So I've forgotten a lot of things. <laughs> but, you know, that is, uh, that baby, it, and it's comfortable. It's comfortable. It's weird, isn't it? It's like he measured my hand and made it perfect. For me. Now, it may not be perfect for you, right? Now, you want to crawl up. You want to put this here and get up this. You could do that. And then you got this harpoony looking thing up here. So you can kind of crawl up on it or do this. You know what I'm saying? For cutting tasks, S90V. And you know what? That ran across my mind. Since I'm doing testing again, maybe... Throw this one into the next batch and S90V just have the rock well done on it and confirm the composition, but I'm, I'm sure it's S90V. I mean, I'm not worried about that. It's just what's, what's the rock well, and that's pretty much what everybody is concerned about when they talk about whatever blade is, what's the rock well? Because, you know, if it's Magna Cut and they wanted it 63, something like that, if... You know, that kind of thing. And M390, you definitely don't want that below 60 and that kind of thing. So that's the real key, isn't it? But it's centered up. It's no no play or anything. But I just thought they did the fit and the finish on it pretty nicely, to tell you the truth. So, uh, and, you know, most are good with Artisan, Kaiser, Cansep, you know, definitely we Riot, all that. Okay. So, but yeah, uh, Snowdy. Yeah, I remember his fixed blade knives that I, I put on my channel years ago. But this one uh, is the first folder I can remember that I've had my hands on particularly. And it works really well. I like it. So I thought it was a good purchase. I just like the whole package of this. And, you know, the design flow right into the bolster. Uh, blade to handle length is fine. Um, it's, it's you know, centered up. It's, you know, no play, no problems there at all. So, and we will disassemble it here in a few minutes. But, yeah, ergos are fine. Reverse grip, let me see if that's going to be a little particular. It's kind of weird because I almost feel like I want to be a little further up with a reverse grip, but it really settles into this. It really does settle into this. Now, this is a good for the grip part, I guess. So, okay. Okay. So, he does get you backed up behind this blade a little. There's not really a good 
comfy place to be in here, but you can creep up on it. And like I said, you can, this is also something that's very doable and it's a solid frame lock. So I'm not, I wouldn't worry about the integrity of that either necessarily. She definitely drops. It'll be interesting to see why. Probably because it's just got a heavy old blade on it too, but I'm sure there's ceramic bearings, etc. like that. And the pocket clip catches this flow of this curve here and is doing that as well. So it kind of stays with that overall, uh, you know, design flow. And it's, it's good. And this definitely is a big plus. Instead of thumb studs, this was definitely a better decision to make that cut through there. Okay, let me see what I can do to... Uh, and are we going to spin it? It's time to spin to win. This is like the last three knives. No captured pivot, just spin to win. Okay. But there is entry in both ways. So in that case, okay. I mean, it's six of one, half a dozen the other then. But let's see which one breaks apart easier. Is it the back or the front? And right now it's looking like the back. And nope. You can see the back. Yeah, see that? Nope, that ain't threads. That's threads. Bye bye. Okay, so we got that one done. And there, there's your little pivot surround here. And there we are. But uh, is, it almost looks like there's a little flat spot there. But why? If it the whole thing spins. And you know what? We're at number eights on this. That's interesting. Why would we do that? Um, let me get the number six out here. And pop that but yeah that's number six on the body okay um and you know what we're spinning the number six too and we're spinning that number six too wow okay well that's fun let me see what we can take the pocket clip maybe okay so we're gonna need to do that that's a long screw isn't it okay that same length looks like um, no, not really does it looks like the longer one is this so that's okay we'll check that out those don't look the exact same length do they that's because they're not no okay very very strange okay Let's let's pull this craziness away then. I guess we can pop this out the back and it'll all come apart, right? Or it should. At least this way. Oh, oh no, I didn't get this undone because it was spinning. But you know what? Now it's gonna screw right out the back. Okay. <sighs> Something's starting to get me perturbed. Okay. Oh, there it goes. There goes. I popped the whole the whole deal out. Okay. Here you go, and here's your little... Is that your lanyard piece? Oh, of course it is. Of course it is. There's your little lanyard pin thing that's in there, and it's stuck in there pretty good. Okay, hardened steel insert, ceramic, detent ball, big old blade stop. Baby, that's thick and hardy. And so then there's your... There's your washers. Come on out of there. That's the easiest way to get them out. I used to fiddle around and try and pluck them out but they they stick really good because the lube kind of keeps them intact and you know what so just take your uh, magnet and get them jumping right out of there and then yeah there's your yeah, there's your there's your bearings okay so uh, yeah that's good and that one just fell out of somewhere into something there it is goes right there so there's your bearings okay ceramic okay we're good it looks pretty clean actually all the way and uh you know they fragged this so they took a lot of material out of this but uh and i never did get a weight on it so i'll either put it here or i'll i'll weigh it up when i get it back together uh because that might be important although i think it does say what the weight is here there's thickness let me see if we can get back here uh wait six ounces okay i'd probably believe that i'd say 
there's your disassembly. So look at look at the pivot. Like I was looking at when I took the pivot screw off from the backside. I thought, hmm, that's weird. And guess what? Oh, it's a captured pivot, right? No. It's got a squared off part. There is no capture area here. There's no capture area here. So it spins. Well, what's the point of doing this unless this was a pivot that they had done for other models that were captured and they go, eh, might as well use the same damn thing. Doesn't matter, right? But yeah, it's not captured. So there's that. Okay, kick it. Ooh, baby. Well, that's a hell of a stop, isn't it? Look at that thing. That's a monster. You gotta whack that sucker. Uh, but uh, Snowdy, woo. That's uh that's an X accelerator. Yes, it is. So check it out. Uh, get one while the getting's good. I don't know if they're gonna keep coming with these, but that's a VV one. The frack looks really good. Some really good stuff coming out. Savivi, Artisan, be interesting to see how they wind up the year. And you guys, you ever heard of this guy? Apparently he's got a website selling consigned knives from various and sundry individuals. And check it out because uh, they're hot, they're going fast, and new ones are always coming in. So stay tuned for more on that one. And the accelerator, and whoop. Fail flip. There we go. Yes, we do. So you guys, stay sharp.